So you want a pack out bit holder and one of these or one of these and Milwaukee hasn't made it. They showed some of this stuff where they're going to include one of these with like a little injection molded thin piece of plastic that you're never going to use again. But if you've seen the post from LME and packing out, these bit holders are the cat's meow. I do stuff like this as well, but if you want something like this, it's pretty easy, but there's a lot of ways you can do it. Version one, I know uh, Electron Smith has said he's not super fond of the way this turns out. Uh, I think they do a pretty good job, and a lot of people that have bought them have so far liked them. But version two, which uses these little nubs in here, Okay, and this is a Milwaukee part. It comes in the Shockwave bit sets. So a lot of people have said, why didn't Milwaukee do something like this? I don't really know. All I know is that this design is amazing the way it works. So we're gonna show you how we can build one of these. So stay tuned. All right, after all that nonsense, here's what we're gonna do. So I went ahead and bought this because I don't know if Electron Smith is gonna, uh, Benjamin Johnson, Instagram. I don't know if he's going to make these, but uh, when I saw LME post these, LME underscore Sparky, check him out. Uh, great guy. I thought, I don't really care if I have to buy this whole Shockwave bit set just to get these, but I wanted to see how these were going to work. I have some new bits that I want to throw in some cases. I've got some of the ones that I've been 3D printing, a couple of colors that aren't available, a couple of these, some unopened bits or some bits. So what I'm gonna do is get this stuff open and then we'll show you how to turn one of these or big one into a bit case. <laughs> I don't care if they're not Swiss. And I know everyone says Milwaukee makes cr crappy hand tools. I disagree. I love these things. Okay, so we've got this just open. This is what an empty one looks like. Again, this is what makes the magic happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest these, okay? We're going to take them and we're going to pull. All right, let's get a screwdriver. And I'm back. So, we're going to get a screwdriver, okay? We're going to pop these guys. So, this is the option that you would choose if you already had these or if you just like the way these ones work. So, you buy this. This was one of the $14 ones. You rip the bits out. Again, you know, that's fine. So then you've got some bin holders. Now, these are some rejects that got shifted on the printer, but the general premise is there, right? So you're like, okay, I want to put these inside of here. So if you've seen, there is little parts that engage. You... So I'll have to mess around with this, but you get the general idea. Bit holder, bit holder inside the case. I don't know if I need to put the taller, this one on the bottom. I'll mess around with that. But as long as you fold this in the right direction, this will clear the top. And you're good to go. Now I've seen some people post them in separate bins. Put them in there. Put something smaller in the bottom. That's one option. Uh, okay, so I put that in the bottom, bottom hole all the way to the end. I put this in the top, top hole all the way in. It should fit now. We'll test fit it in there in a minute. We'll work on. One of these, along with these bits. Your bit doesn't stick out past the top. See how that's sort of sticking out? You can't really use that one, but you can put it in and then just have it to where it rotates up. So, bunch of them in there. Using the Milwaukee kit, you can obviously see you can pull those up get to them, throw them back down. You can do multiples 
but you always have to step the one on the bottom forward. If I want to have the two, put the top one in the back, stand it up, put the bottom one in front of it, and then you can have it to where you can go like that. there so you've got bits you can go like that you can put those inside your case should be good to go now what you could do if you wanted to you take one of the ones that I sell Benjamin Johnson designed you could put it up here that can hold bits So now I have an Allen. Once those bits are in there, you use the bits for leverage and you can see. So that's a stock Milwaukee part going inside of the aftermarket bin. There's more Milwaukee bits that I bought going in Benjamin Johnson Electron Smith's design. It fits right into here. Now, the cool thing about these are is that if fits inside the case, I am dripping sweat. But that is one option. Another option, here you go, here you go. So I'll be back in a second. We'll show you what else we can do with these. Okay, so I'm gonna show you with the stuff that we put together, how to build one of these like LME Sparky did, uh, LME underscore Sparky. So you get this, this is the way it comes. You can, however, fit these in any configuration. So if you don't want these smaller bit holder bins, which I'll show one of those, you can just use these. So you can get something like this and go there. You can use your stock with your divider, and then you can take one of the bit holders. But if you want, like the photo he posted, you pretty much take all these out, you buy two of these, he had one of these, and then one second, he had a version one. So, if you don't have any of these Milwaukee bits, you need to buy this, which is called a rectangle version two, another rectangle version two, and then a version one. You can use that or like P2 Robertson, there you go. So that is a pretty stocked, fully loaded, low profile, half size, pack out bin with your bits when you buy the Milwaukee Shockwave bits in these cases. Sometimes you get different heights. And by heights, I mean that's like a half height or a standard or a short, and then this is a tall. A tall is for these bigger ones. Uh, I think it has something to do with, you know, the torque on it would break those. Benjamin Johnson did two versions. So this one, which I only have in red, I just printed it in black for some of the red ones that I had for myself, is to replace that so you don't have to buy the Milwaukee Shockwave sets if you're using your own bits. Then, this is a short, so tall and short. You can see I threw some of these Allens, and you can take these and put these either in your stock shockwave sets, or you can put them in one of these. This is a square. This is a rectangle, version two, low profile. Take this out, put it there. When you get more, you're good to go. Again, if you want like the post has, there you go. I think in the post it had this one. But here are your options. You can literally just grab these things. You can, you can put more of these in than the site shows. You can see here, one, two, three, four. You could put more in here. You could have them stacked to where they're at an angle. You could do a lot of options. But I wanted to show you what you can do with a bunch of the Milwaukee stuff and a bunch of your own stuff. Good to go, bit holders. 
Have a good one. Thanks for watching.